At Miracle Rescue in Thailand, this morning, new video showing the families of that soccer team meeting the rescuers who saved their sons' lives as the boys recover in the hospital this morning. ABC's Adrian Bankert is still there, and Adrian, you had the opportunity to speak with some of those divers who were actually in the cave during the rescue? Yes, Robin, they're saying this was so unreal. Many saying this was the most challenging dive they'd ever taken on. Another describes how in a full wetsuit with all that heavy gear, at some points they're diving in the cave, at other times trudging through the mud, all while carrying those children out on stretchers from that cave. This morning, you can see that highly calculated plan in action. New video shows how teams of expert divers pulled those 12 boys and their coach from the belly of that cave. Our job was to get the, get the, the kid out from the water, take the full face mask off, put him in the stretchers, gently holding their hands so that they don't get tangled or if there's this stress, they don't start to pull the mask off. Divers from around the world who came to assist in the rescue are speaking out for the first time about conditions inside that cave as oxygen ran low. If you could rank one to 10, how hard this was, 13, 17? You couldn't see this, you couldn't see this. It wasn't until you actually touched your own mask that you could actually see your hands. I mean, just pointing yourself along a rope and smacking your head into rocks. We did exit the cave fairly quickly. <laughs> Describe the feeling rippling through the camp there at the cave when everybody knew we got the last boy out, we got the coach out. It's a wrap. It was actually quite silent. I mean, you kind of like, this actually worked. A Thai diver from Bangkok says he was very familiar with the area's dangerous caves. How many of you? But he never imagined that this could ever happen. The really first day I arrived there on Monday night, started working side by side with the sales team on the Tuesday morning. This is the most difficult dive I, I, I have ever been to. This video shows them being carried all the way out. One of the soccer players seen on a stretcher wrapped in a blanket before medical teams quickly step in to transport him to the hospital. And some of the divers have met with the boys' families who thank them, as well as the nation of Thailand, celebrating their remarkable mission. We've been talking about this with the guys, and uh, nobody has ever heard of such a big operation, and especially uh, that ends up this good. And here at the hospital, the boys are still recovering. They'll be here for about a week, then go home and recover for another month. The divers we spoke to all say they hope to meet the boys, and they're calling the British divers who found them first, as well as the Thai Royal Navy, the true heroes. Robin? A lot of heroes go around. All right. Thanks so much, Adrian. And it must have been something for the families to, to meet the rescuers for the first time yeah, like that. Important. Great yeah. to see the boys doing well as, is. as well. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.